Hey guys, Crystal here from Crystal's Crazy Corner. What is going on? I hope you all are having an amazing Tuesday. Uh, we're closer. Tomorrow's Halloween. Wacky Wednesday. You know it. Mm. I've heard. I've heard that there might be costumes. Mm. But you know what? Enough about that. You just have to stop by tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and find out. Hmm. Did Crystal dress up? Hmm. What do you think? What do you think she'll be? Hmm. Well, while you're thinking on that, thought for the day. Something has been on my mind. Again. You know, I've been told that apologizing is a sign of weakness. Which y'all know I already disagree with. I already talked about that one. But then, I've also heard that forgiveness is a sign of weakness. What? Say what? Huh? Huh? <sighs> Not to me. To me, it's about compassion. It's about caring. It's closure. It's, you're not doing, you're not forgiving for the other person. To me, you're forgiving for yourself. You're forgiving so that you can have closure and you can move on and you can live a healthier life. You're not letting something be held over you or holding something over someone or feeling bad and beating yourself up over something. It can be anything. And to me, if somebody came up to me and said, you know, I've done a lot of thinking and I've done a lot of soul searching and I forgive you for the wrongs that you have committed against me. How's that person weak? Man, that takes so much heart. You're bearing your soul. How's that a weakness? Is human compassion dead in today's society? I know a lot of things have changed, and yes, you know I'm very old-fashioned. But when did forgiveness become a sign of weakness? It's not. It's a sign of strength. Inner strength in yourself. They don't even have to know that you forgave them. So how would it be a sign of a weakness? If somebody can please add any type of logic to that statement, I'm all ears. All ears. I just, I, I don't understand. I really don't. And, you know, no matter what, we're all human. We are all human. Every single one of us. No person that's listening to me now is perfect. None of us are. So at one point or another, you've hurt somebody's feelings. I've hurt somebody's feelings. I know I have. That's why you've seen me apologize. Because I knew what I did was wrong. We're human. Own it. Admit it. You're not perfect. None of us are. So can you reach down deep inside and forgive the people that may have wronged you? That's up to you. That's not for me to say. Not at all. But I can tell you this much. <clears throat> I know in the 10 months that I've actually had a channel on YouTube, I've lost fingers of how many times 
my feelings have been hurt. I've lost count. I can't count on my fingers anymore. That's sad. Ten months and already past ten fingers. Ten people hurting my feelings. And in those instances, it wasn't just hurting my feelings. You guys know some of what I'm talking about. I'm not digging it up. I'm not bringing it up. Because you know why? I moved on past it. Why? For me. Not for them. For me. For my happiness. Because if you're mad with somebody and they're going through your mind, you're letting them control that space. That's not their business. That's your space. Yours. And yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's not always easy to forgive. Mm -mm. It's not. But you have to do that for you. Not for anybody else. For you. That's not something that you walk Oh, I forgive you. And you walk away. You can. Did you really mean it? Or were they just words like, I'm sorry? Because I'm sorry gets way overused. Way overused. And like I said, I moved on. I pray for those people who hurt me, who hurt my feelings. You may not be religious, and that's completely and totally fine. But I beg you to start thinking. Start soul searching. Start forgiving some of the ones who've hurt you. Move on. Be happy. Because that's what life's all about. And I'm sorry, I'll argue to the end. Forgiveness is not a sign of weakness. Forgiveness is the biggest sign of strength going. Because if somebody hurt you, and I'm talking really hurt you, if you can forgive that person, you got a super huge heart. You're full of compassion. Which is better? Being mean and grouchy because somebody hurt you and lashing out at others and hurting them? Or reaching deep down in your, in your own soul and finding the true will to forgive those that hurt you? And for those of you, and you know who you are, who have hurt me, I'm saying it right here and I'm saying it right now. I forgive you. I truly do. In some instances, I will never forget what you did, but I do forgive you. And I will not forget because I had to learn from that. So if I forget it, then I didn't learn anything. But I do truly forgive you. And that's, that's for my peace of mind. Not for theirs. Not for theirs at all. It's for my happiness. And like I said, guys, if any of you can explain any logic at all on how you can say forgiveness is a sign of weakness, please leave it down below in the comments. I'm open to ideas. You know that. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. Maybe you feel like I do. Let me know. And tonight, I'll see you guys over on the Sin and Earl RC Network at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <clears throat> I'll be hanging out and chat. You know it. And tomorrow night, come see me. Wacky Wednesday, Halloween version. What will I be? Wait and see. But remember this, guys. No matter what. I love you all, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart.